Okay, PlayStation 4. Toggle buttons losing their little rubber skin and some of the buttons sticking. I'll show you how to take it apart, fix them, and put it all back together. First, we're going to start by removing these four screws on the back. Four screws are out. Now you got to pry it apart along the seam there. Try to do it evenly, nicely. I just have a tiny flat blade. Get in there and pry it apart. Can't get the two halves separated. Just prying all the right way around it. It'll go eventually. Now you gotta kinda unhook that plastic piece between the uh, the L1 and R1 and R1 and R2 buttons. It uh, it's a part of the bottom half there, so you kind of kind of lift it uh, out and over the L2 and the R2 button. Okay, when you get to this point, there will be two separate halves. There will be a ribbon from the bottom end of the controller to the circuit board here. I'll grab by that blue part and pull it straight out. And when you're putting it back in, you see that little black line there? That kind of gives you an idea of when it's seated properly. Then it'll come apart just like that. And you see the blue part. That's the way it comes out. So that's the back half. There's nothing on it. You don't need to worry about it. The only thing you need to ever plug back in when you're screwing it back together is just this ribbon. And that's it. Okay, on this half, there's the battery. Right there in the middle. It's plugged into the circuit board right there. You're just going to wiggle that back and forth and it's going to come out. If you have a problem, just grab a pair of needle nose pliers and wiggle it back and forth with that. It'll come out. Okay, battery's out. This little button up here in the top corner, this pulls right out. It's your reset button right here. You're going to pull that out and put it aside with your screws. This little backing plate is what held the battery in. Uh, there's a little screw in the middle of there. We're going to take that screw out and then we're going to pull this whole assembly out. There's another blue ribbon right there at the top. You need to unplug that before you take out the circuit board. Okay, you see there the blue ribbon's unplugged and now the circuit board and everything should just lift right out. This is what you get when you separate them. The one half will look like that. The other half all comes out as one unit. There's your uh, toggle buttons or your joysticks to replace. And here you can pull off these uh, plastic covers and the buttons come out individually and you can clean them up and put them back in so they don't stick no more. Getting the toggles off is easy. You just pull straight up on them and they come right off. These things are a certain shape on the inside, so they only fit on one way when you push them on. Uh, push them on good, they seat quite a bit before uh, they actually get all the way down there. So just make sure they're on good. Okay, here's the buttons to clean out. You just pull these uh, rubber covers off, they come off like nothing, and then the buttons uh, just fall out pretty much if you tip it over. And they only fit back in a certain way too, so it's pretty hard to get them mixed up when you're putting it back together. So it comes off like that, and then you see the buttons like on the back of your controller. Same idea on the other side. You'll get it. Get all the buttons out. I'm just going to take a Q-tip with some alcohol, rub it all around in there, clean it up, uh, rub it with some paper towel and stuff, and just get all the gunk out of there. I'm going to do the same with all the buttons there, even the uh, options and the uh, share button. So none of them will be sticking after, and then just replace it the way you took it apart. Okay, there's all the buttons put back in and that side of the controller put back together. So now I'm going to put the, uh, the circuit board back in, lay it in there. I'm going to not forget to plug in that little blue ribbon. And uh, yeah, um, I'll put the, uh, the screw in first too after I fit it all together. Okay, circuit board's back in there. I pop the screw back in. Now I'm going to plug in the blue ribbon. Okay, blue ribbon's plugged back in. Okay, battery's back in, everything's all together. Okay, reset button's back in there. 
Okay, battery's back in, everything's all together. All I gotta do is take the other half. Don't forget to plug that uh, other ribbon connector back in. Blue side facing out. And uh, yeah, snap them both together, put the four screws in, and you're finished. And there you go. New joysticks, buttons cleaned up, nothing sticks. You can buy these on uh, Amazon, 10 of them for like 8 bucks. And yeah, it's good.